What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be sharing with you my two and a half years lock update using the two strand twist starter lock method. So let's jump right into it. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe that I am two and a half years locked. It's crazy. Like seriously guys, I cannot believe that I am two and a half years locked right now. The reason why I'm saying that is because there have been so many times I have been tempted to cut my locks. I have been tempted to comb out my locks. I have been tempted to just give up on this lock journey. Now I am a very particular, particular person and it can sometimes just cause me, you know, a little bit of confusion <laughs> because, you know, as much as I, you know, love the way how I started this lock journey and when I started it, I felt like, yes, I'm on the road to perfection. It was not the case <laughs> um, because during this journey, um, you know, like I've shared in my two years lock update video, which I will link right here for you to check out <laughs> as i've shared in that video there has just been um moments where i just felt like this is just not going the way i want it to go in terms of you know some of my locks looking a certain kind of way etc <laughs> but i'm jumping ahead like uh, I get, pump the brakes pump the brakes let's just start from the beginning well not the beginning <laughs> let's start from where i left off in my two-year lock update so we're gonna jump right into it but hey congrats to me for hitting two and a half years a lot yeah yeah thank you <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> i am committed <laughs> All right, so let's just jump right into some of the things that I have um, that I want to update you guys on since my last update. So let's go. Okay, so like I was just saying, in my during my pregnancy, I had a lot of new growth um, because, as you guys know, when you're pregnant. There's a lot more hormones in your body which accelerates, you know, hair growth and beautiful skin and growing nails, etc. You know, so um, I had a lot of new growth and it was crazy because during that time when I was pregnant, that particular moment, I wasn't retwisting my hair. And I think that was just the biggest mistake. I should have never not retwisted my hair because when it came to the january because it was about what three four months i hadn't retwisted my hair so when it came to the january i had so much new growth it was crazy i definitely link another video of mine when i was um showing you guys when i was retwisting my locks and i think i mentioned how long i yeah i believe i mentioned how long i hadn't retwisted for and i will show i was showing you guys how much new growth i had so yeah but in regards to that those um are locking like i've showed you so the new growth from that has definitely locked like this is all the new growth right here and i was showing you guys that they were budding as well but as you can see the new growth has certainly locked obviously we can still see a little bit of frizz right here but it's not like anything crazy but yeah that's what the new growth is looking like So for the most part, there isn't a lot of frizziness like I had mentioned before where I was saying like when I retwist my hair, I could see a lot of frizz, but obviously it's not like looking frizzy when we look at the locks. You see what I'm saying? It looked pretty much locked. And like I said, when you get up close, you can kind of see a little frizziness, but for the most part, the uh, new growth has locked. And like I said, that was like January and now it's December so you know it's locked so it took like a whole year to lock which is pretty much around the time frame it takes for you here to lock anyway so yeah also what i want to update you guys on is the um the reattached locks that i had in the front of my head now in my two years lock update video i did make mention that some of the um reattached locks didn't 
want to you know cooperate <laughs> so some of them fell out and whatever not and not fell out because it didn't just drop out it was more like when i was washing my hair they would not like stay they would get loose and you can really see that this piece does not belong here and i was getting frustrated in you know continuously um you know crocheting them together like trying to get them to stay um and then i just got fed up i'm like you know what you guys are telling me something you do not want to be in my head so goodbye see you later hasta la vista but there were two that remained these two this is one of my reattached locks and you can't really tell that it's reattached right like i was pleased with this this one and this one is another reattached locks it's another reattached lock you know so they are definitely holding in strong and um this other one as well is at the back this was a reattached lock as well. Oh, let me see if you can get it. This was another reattached lock. But for the most part, the reattached locks, they look very seamless and like it's almost like there's no indication that they were reattached. Now, I wish the others would have cooperated because, you know, a girl would be feeling herself right now, but so since i allowed these ones in the front to just do their things especially do their things do their thing these two were actually restarted um you know with the two strand twist and it is what now so i would say yeah i started this one like put the twist in these two um it was march 16th it was the day before my daughter was born <laughs> and these two are locked now guys i really don't want to have to pull it out and show you but they are pretty much locked so um the ones in the front they certainly locked um they definitely look like locks right now and you know i'm happy with how they're looking there and flourishing like they're quite thick but i have come to the realization that my hair up here in the top is much thicker than my hair you know in other areas because you if you remember what i mentioned in um my other video about getting thick locks and i was talking about my hair density i realized that my hair density up here is much thicker because some of the locks that that are formed up here that are the same size in other areas these ones up top are much thicker than the others. So the density on my head is not equally distributed <laughs> as far as I'm aware. But like these ones in the front, I love the thickness of it. And I just wish all my locks were like the same thickness, even though majority of them are like the same size. But anyway, in regards to my star locks in the front, they are pretty much, all right, here is this one here another one another start lock that is um, locking the start lock here and there is another one here another start lock I just wish that they were long like everything else like yeah and then obviously going through postpartum hair loss on top of all of this it can be depressing and it can make you feel like i just want to start all over because boy if you guys ever know how many times i just feel like just cutting everything off and like cut it really low and just start all over oh lord have mercy and talking about going through postpartum hair loss and you know having these short locks in the front i ended up having to cut one of my locks that was in the front um now if you guys follow my postpartum hair loss journey um i'll link the video right here where i shared with you that one of my locks was literally thinning out due to going through postpartum hair loss and i tried to save it i tried to hold on for their life but i just had to let it go i had to just you know part ways with it and i cut the lock and um, let me see here it is so i cut it and i restarted it so um since my wash day yesterday i had to retwist this one so this one is literally just started um yesterday so another little lock journey right here starting <laughs> 
but yeah so I had to cut one of my locks and I was thinking I've, I've kept it though because I was thinking um, when that um, this lock and get a little bit more thicker I was going to reattach it but I wasn't sure if I want to reattach it or just let it be since I'm already letting the rest of these guys be now something new that I have learned about my lock journey since my two-year lock update and now I'm realizing I have build up also it's not just Jaden who got build up around here I also have build up but I didn't know that I did not know that until recently and I was like what build up <laughs> and I was just ready 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 the moment I found out I had build up I was ready I was like yep okay time to cut it off like I'm telling you guys I am kind of crazy I don't know what's wrong with me like things just have to be perfect okay it doesn't have to be perfect we have to be kind of close to perfect and if it's not I have issues and I want to cut my locks I want to start it over hmm yeah so finding out i have build up was really hard and i don't know if this is product more clearly it's product build up but you know it's just so hard man it's so hard like let me show you guys what i'm talking about can you see that there's a little bit like that's product build up right here right and i think here too look at that so finding out that i've got product build up i was just like i'm ready to just restart this whole journey <laughs> and i'm just thinking like if i were to restart this journey like, i would just do everything so different like <laughs> i don't even know what i would do different because you have to use products like you have to use shampoo and it can be oh are you washing out the shampoo properly out your hair are you washing out the conditioner properly out your hair so i'm just kind of like oh my days do i really want to do this <laughs> but yeah so i've discovered that i have some build up in my locks and i'm not very happy about that um but before giving up the lock journey i'm thinking to do another acv soap because i've only done one throughout my whole entire um lock journey i've only done one acv soap so i'm thinking to do that to try and save the locks <laughs> but if i was to restart my lock journey guys what do you think i should do do you think i should cut it all up and start from scratch or comb it all out and i don't want no one talking about no don't do it don't do it i've given you guys options either cut it or comb it out tell me so i'm gonna leave a poll right here and please let me know you're honest i'm not even gonna give you guys the option to say don't cut it out or don't don't not cut it out but don't um, start your lock journey and don't leave no comments saying that i shouldn't okay i don't even know if i'm going to or not but if i were to what would you guys suggest i do cut it and restart or comb it out and then start from there you know because i have grown like to be honest guys this is the longest my hair has ever been in my entire life right so being a little girl i've always wanted long hair and now i've got long hair that i've always desired <laughs> so it's like do you cut it or do you start um by combing it out start over by combing it out but to be honest if i were to restart my lock journey oh my god like i've been thinking um i'm not sure if i want to make them bigger because i want thick locks or if i want to make them smaller like micro locks um but not too 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 small because i do not have the patience but um the reason why i'm a little bit conflicted on what to do if i were to restart is because i like thick locks and i want thick locks um, but at the same time i want plentiful locks i want a lot of locks on my head but considering my um density and my hair strength um thickness um i think the method that would be best to give me a lot of locks is by doing micro locks and making them smaller because my hair would look fuller as opposed to if i make it big then i won't have a lot of locks on my head and it would kind of look a bit scanty and um yeah but i'm just kind of conflicted like i don't want to have them too small because i don't have the patience to retwist 
too much locks on my head but I like that because it will give me the fullness that I want but with the other option if I were to do them bigger I would get the thick locks that I love but I won't get the fullness that I desire so what would you guys do in that situation and again like I said I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna cut my locks but if I were to ever cut my locks at least I could reference this and know exactly what I think I should do and what you guys think I should do and I'll obviously keep that in mind okay so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did then please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week Sunday at 5 p.m. we will be right back here with another video